this is an excerpt from this one. So, pwede yung tingnan uli doon if you are interested. I'll just explain this. So, we are now on equations of planes. So, we start by assuming that we know that this one, this is a point on your plane. You have a point on, um, give you an example of a plane. Pwede yung band paper, na? It's a plane, di ba? So, let's see that P sub 0 is a point on the plane. Let's suppose that we have a vector that is orthogonal. We say orthogonal, perpendicular to the plane. So, we call this vector N, which has coordinates A, B, C. So, ang tawag dun sa perpendicular na, na vector sa plane is your normal vector. So, aside from a point on the plane, na P sub 0, we also assume another point, T, X, Y, Z, which is again any point on the plane. Since we are going to be working with vectors, we we'll let R sub 0 and R be the position vectors of P sub 0 and P respectively. How does it look like? Ito. Ayan. Nakita niya na. Ito yung P. Ito yung plane niya. Di ba sabi ka niya? Example, band paper. So, ayan. Yung P niya. Tapos, a point on the plane, P. Then, also another point on the plane, P sub 0. Ang coordinates ng X sub 0, Y sub 0. Tapos, may normal vector kayo, itong N. Perpendicular siya sa inyohang plane. So, consider also your R here, which is a position vector from here to P, uh, and R sub 0 is a position vector from, of course, your, your origin to P sub 0. Here. Notice that we added in the vector R minus R sub 0. This is your vector R minus R sub 0, which actually completely lie on the plane. Kasi nandito may P sub 0, nandito rin yung P. Also notice that we put the normal vector on the plane. So, again, ang normal vector nyo, it's on the plane, which is perpendicular to the plane. It says here that it is completely possible that the normal vector does not touch the plane in any way. So, uh, aware lang tayo na this normal vector is actually perpendicular to the plane. Not now, because n is orthogonal to the plane, it's also orthogonal to any of the vector that lies in the plane. So, in particular, it is orthogonal to, anong vector? Yung vector na bago lang natin inamit, r minus r sub 0. Now, recall that the dot product, so I ask you to familiarize yourselves with the dot product. The two orthogonal vectors will have a dot product of 0. Pag meron kang orthogonal vectors, say perpendicular vectors, pag kunin nyo ang dot product niya, they should be equal to zero. And that, therefore, this is, uh, your n is orthogonal to r minus r sub zero is actually equal to zero. So, we call that the vector equation of the plane. So, itong result ito is actually vector equation. And then, A slightly more useful form of the equation is as follows. That is, this is your ABC. It's a vector with components ABC that this is XYZ minus X sub 0 minus Y sub 0, uh, uh, X sub 0 comma Y sub 0, Z sub 0. Ito yung R minus R sub 0 niyo. It's equal to this one. Pero vector na, no? So vector na yan na R. Kasi ang point, it is point P. So, ang position vector niya is your R minus R sub 0. So, A, B, C dot your, this one, subtracted the two vectors, so component by component and pick subtract. So, you now have the equation becomes A, di ba, pag mag magkuha kayo ng dot product, you simply take component component and multiply a times x minus x sub 0 plus diba? b times y minus y sub 0 plus c times z minus c sub 0. 
So the scalar equation of the plane is now equal to this. Because you will have you will now have ax plus by plus cz. Atong x sub zero, ax sub zero plus by sub zero plus cz sub zero is actually equal to your. If in case mag mag equate yan siya sa value that will be equal to your t. So ax sub zero, by sub zero plus c z sub zero. Kasi may value man ang c sub zero, di ba? Constant man yan. Tapos may value rin ang c. So, pag i-adapt nyo lahat yan, it will be the value. Where d is, ayan, ax sub zero plus by sub zero plus c z sub zero. Pwede pa rin yan siya equals ax sub zero plus by sub zero plus c z. Pero pag i-adapt ninyo, as I've said, it will just be equal to that. So, this second form is often how we are given equations of planes. Notice that we are given we are given the equation of a plane in this form, we can actually get a normal vector for the plane. Ang anong itura normal vector? N, which has components, so make use of your component, A, B, and C. So, ang tawag dyan is, the second form here is actually given equations of plane. Usually, ganito itura ng equation of plane. AX plus BY plus CZ is equal to D where itong a, b, c ninyo is actually the normal vector. Ang components yan ng normal vector. Let's have the first example. Determine the equation of the plane that contains the points p equals 1, negative 2, 0, q, 3, 1, 4, and r is 3, 0, negative 1, 2. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Meron kayong plane, tapos within that plane, Meron itong points na P equals 1, negative 2, 0, and Q, 3, 1, 4, and R equals 0, negative 1, 2. So it says here that in order to write down the equation of plane, we need a point this time, that two naman ang points natin, and a normal vector. So ang problema ngayon, paano pang hanapin ang inyong normal vector? So we can make use of your cross product. You simply take your P, Q, yung points na P, Q, and then also your P, R there. And then, take this as your vectors, and then take its cross product. So, these two vectors will lie completely in the plane, and we form them from these points. So, kung meron kayong tatlong points, pwede kayong magkuha ng dalawang vectors doon. And then, take the two vectors... Take its cross product because the cross product of these two vectors will actually be perpendicular. Maging perpendicular na plane. So yung, yung uh, vector na yun can now be used as uh, the vector which is perpendicular to the plane. You can use the cross product as your normal vector. Yeah. So, this one, a cross product yan. Tingnan natin. So, ito. Review kayo ulit. Review kayo ulit sa, ang ginamit dito is the basket rule. Okay? So, but if you can make use of the formula that we had earlier, making use of your determinant, then you can actually solve this one. So, I'll leave the solution to you for you to review back, ha? Your um, cross product. So, after solving for the value of the normal vector, which is 2i minus 8j plus 5k, then you will now have 2 here, is your a, x minus x sub 0, minus b, your b is 8, ito, y minus y sub 0, but you have negative 2, so that's why you have that, plus c, you have c, 5, z minus z sub 0, which is equal to, in equation from the equation equal to zero. So you use P for the point, but could have used all or uh, any of the three points. Ginamit natin yung two nag uh, sorry, sorry. Ginamit natin yung one, two, zero, which is our P. Diba ito? P natin is one, negative two, zero. Pero pwede rin gamitin ang three, one, four, ang R zero, negative one. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma ma Actually, pag 
you are looking for an equation of a line, ang kailangan ninyo is a point on the line and a vector parallel to the line. If you are looking for an equation of a plane, you need a point on a plane and a vector perpendicular to the plane. Okay? So, yun yung dapat ninyong tandaan. The next problem is one. I will leave that one to you. If you have any questions with this one, again, you can ask me later on. Okay. So, let me just stop sharing. <laughs> 